Well, here we are, another Testimony Tuesday. I was actually going through my mind in that earlier this morning before I got here, uh, recording this video on Sunday morning before we go into our worship service. Um, but here, in this quick verse of Scripture that I have, I want to go ahead and read it right quick because it, it really jumped out at me when I seen it. Uh, as many times as I've read this verse of Scripture, I don't know why it just has not caught me like it did this time. So it tells me that God is speaking to me through this verse, and I believe He is allowing me to use it to speak to you, to say something to you today, to help encourage you and remind you of who He is and what you are to him. Um, 1 Peter 5 and 7 says, Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. And anybody that gets the verse of the day through the Holy Bible app probably sees this. So you'll, you, if you get those verses, you'll probably go back and know what day uh, it come from. But I want to read that verse one more time. Casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. Whenever I read the first part of that scripture, casting all your care upon Him, I, I just begin to, I'm not going to use say brainstorm, but I, I just begin to think. Think about how do we really cast all our cares on Him? Because... If you're anything like me, and most of us are similar in a lot of ways in our character, regardless of what we look like, what color we are, how we, where we come from, we are all still similar in a lot of ways because we are all God's creation. So most of us still struggle with casting all our cares on Him. Um, what are you concerned about this morning? What do you care about today? Uh, what what have you been caring about? What is on your heart and your mind? What are the things that give you some anxiety, which we know we shouldn't have? But uh, wow, today is it, anxiety and depression is such a big deal. So uh, I just begin to think about that as I was saying, casting all our cares on Him. Uh, as a pastor uh, years ago, a few years ago, um, when I was pastoring a church. Um, when people would come to the altar Sunday morning, Wednesday night, whenever it was, we had services, and uh, they would kneel down and 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 I would pray for them and, and as they were praying, and then whenever they were through praying, I would look up and I, and if it was someone who I knew had been struggling or or you could just maybe see it in their face, I, I would look at them and tell them and say, "Here's the thing." When you leave this altar, you can't carry what you have left, supposedly left at this altar with you. Because if you do, then what you've done here at this altar is not really going to mean a whole lot. Well, why would you tell them that, uh, Chris? Because it is the truth. When we cast all our cares on Him, as this verse says, He cares for us. But God is is the person, in fact, that He being the the Spirit that is creation, the Spirit that is the beginning and the end, the all knowing. He's everywhere and He's all powerful. Um, but in His character, He loves us enough. He cares for us that He will not force himself into our lives we must open the door so that goes for the same fact when we get to an altar no matter where it be and at time our altar may be riding down the road and our cars crying or, or because we feel like we've been overwhelmed with what's happening in our lives or maybe uh someone next to us um that we care about he cares about us if someone we care about if they don't tell us what's going on if they don't let us know how we can help them there's nothing we can do. And then even when they do tell us how we can help them or, or, or come to us, uh, if they won't allow us to, there's still really nothing we can do. 
And it's the same way with God. When we bring our needs and our cares to Him, if we do not leave them with Him, if we do not trust Him as we say we do, He cannot do anything about it. Well, let me rephrase that. He can, but He will not because He is not going to go where He is not allowed. In our minds when we begin to compare God to what I just said we serve a God who can do anything we serve a God that that tells us nothing is impossible for him we serve a God who says he loves us so much that he sent his only son to die for us and be raised again so that we might have salvation Jesus tells us that we can have a better life through him, a life of peace, a life of joy. And that's what he wants. I said that to come back to this. Let's lay our cares at the feet of Jesus. And oh, how I, I'm speaking to the mirror in front of me. I'm speaking to myself just as much as I'm speaking to you here this morning. Let's cast our cares upon him. If you don't know him as your personal savior today, throw all those things uh, at his feet and give your heart and give your life to him and and he'll come in and he'll begin to change things and and create in you a new heart he'll create in you a new way of thinking um the old man as the bible says is dead and the new man is created through salvation because of the blood of jesus wow that's <laughs> that's a whole lot to take in in a short period of time so what I want to do is I want to close this video up with this right here and just kind of sum it all up. Jesus loves you. God the Father loves you. The Holy Spirit is drawing you right now. I believe if you're still watching this video at this point, God's speaking to your heart in some way. Listen for Him. Hear Him. Talk to Him. Cast your cares at His altar. Mm, hallelujah. Whew, the Holy Spirit just hit me with that. We can cast our cares to Him. Father, I can't help but stop at this moment and just pray. Lord, for each one that's watching this, that will watch this. God, I praise you that they've taken the opportunity. I thank you that you have been drawing them. Lord, you are bringing us to a place in greater faith. As the pastor's been talking and, and, and one of the things that, that he's been driving into us and, and what his, his uh, call and, and his drive to push us to this year is that full measure, seeking that full measure in Jesus. Seeking a full measure of Jesus in our own personal lives. I pray that this person that, that is listening now, each one of you in particular, let's make it personal to you, Father. Each one that is, is hearing, that, that stops and takes time, I pray that they make it personal with you right now, Father. God, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to remind us or to maybe even speak it for the first time to somebody who hadn't heard it or didn't know. God, may they know now that you care for them so much that you're willing to take their burdens, their needs, those things that care about and work with them and deal with them and if they'll just leave them completely with you, Father. So God, I thank you for what you're going to do right now. I praise you for what you've already done and I'm giving you praise for that future. Oh, God, continue to move, I pray, in the name of Jesus. I love you and I thank you, Father, for all that you are and all that you've been to us and that you're going to be as we can now uh, work to reach eternity in you. Thank you, Lord. I praise you and I give you the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for taking the time to uh, spend with me uh, for these few moments that uh, I know time is something we can't get back, so it means a lot that you took the time to hopefully now uh, stay with us through this whole video. I want to just remind you that 2271 Ultra Mill Road, Godwin, is where Shiloh PH Church is located. 
again, uh, we, we invite you to come with be, be with us personally. Uh, we would love to have an opportunity to be the hands and feet of Jesus to you in a personal way. And if you can't continue to watch, uh, watch these videos. Uh, watch the Message Mondays and the uh, Fearless Fridays and the Thursday videos, A Moment in, time in the Word with Lydia, oh Lord. Uh, oh Lord, we just know that you're being blessed uh, with these uh, videos. So again, thank you. Thank you so much because these are about you. They're about helping you. We want to just reach one more. We're looking for one more as well uh, as the thing we say at Shiloh. Looking for one more heart, one more soul to be saved. Again, I just want to say thank you. Uh, Lord bless. We love you. More importantly, Jesus Christ loves you. Have a wonderful day.